Hey you guys, today is going to be a lipstick slash lip gloss slash any lip products declutter. I have tons, look at this. That's not even all, I've got like this full, handful, and all of these. Like I have so many, we're gonna go through, I'll do some swatches for you. Um, I keep a bag about this size in my purse with me at all times so I have some lotion, a compact, um, some moisturizer, and then I will keep a lot of lip products in there because I like to do my lips on the go. Um, so what I was wearing today, and I think it came off, um, was my ColourPop Lippy Stick Pencil um, and the Lippy Stick. Ooh, hair. Gross. I apologize. Okay, so I have these in shade Skimpy. I'm keeping them 150%. They're awesome. And then I also have the one Bound, which I wear in a lot of my videos, and I've shown you guys the shade. So I'm not going to swatch it, but these are keep for sure. Um, what else do I got? This, my lip exfoliator, best thing in all of the world. I'm keeping this. It's amazing. It's already, you can kind of see some lipstick on there. Uh, but it's just amazing. It's got that rough, um, gritty type. It gets all the dead skin off your lips. This is awesome. And it's like not a lot of money. And I keep that in my bag that I keep in my purse. Um, so this I got, I like, I don't think I'm going to get rid of. Gosh, I'm not going to get rid of anything. Um, is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner. And I have it in shade Pretty Pink. This is really beautiful. And I have a sharpener for it because it is starting to get a little dull so that's that really pretty neutral easy pink so you always have to have one of those now these two things they are my favorite so I'm not getting rid of them they're my favorite liquid lipstick I've ever owned and it is the L'Oreal so I've got this shade which is flamboyant flamingo and this shade which is passionate petal both are awesome I keep this in my bag and my purse. This I leave at home because I don't wear this shade as much. I will, so I'm not going to get rid of it, but this I'm definitely not getting rid of. So next we'll go ahead and get rid of one. This is the e.l.f. Lip Balm Tint. I found this at the dollar store. Um, I have this in shade Nude, so that's what it looks like. Um, it just... It's very hard to apply it. You can see it is very sheer. You can't do much with it. And when you put it on, I mean, you can't even tell. So it was, I mean, it was only a dollar, so it's not bad. If you have a brush, it might be a lot easier to apply it. I don't like it. I'm not going to use it anymore. I've used it like once since I got it, once or twice, and I don't like it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Um, this I wore in a recent video as well. I'm definitely not getting rid of it. It is the Burt's Bees lipstick. It's so wonderful on the lips and I have it in shade nude. So definitely keeping this for sure. And I'll keep it in my bag that I keep in my purse. This, it's one of the best drugstore lip glosses in the entire world. And that is the, you probably already know what I'm going to say, the NYX Butter Gloss. These are awesome. I have mine in shade Tiramisu. And this is a great nudie pink. So let me... And it has really great pigment as well, which is one of the reasons why I really like it. Really great pigment. Um, it's soft on the lips, doesn't dry the lips out. Awesome. Love it. This I do like as well. I haven't been reaching for it as much, but I'm not going to get rid of it because... I will. In the summer, I like to wear a lot, you know, nude, easy lip sticks, everything easy. I like this. It is very easy. It looks fantastic with the butter gloss that I just showed y'all. It looks really great with the butter gloss on top. Looks great alone, too. This is the Tattoo Junkie Lip Paint, and I have it in shade Bubblegum. I love this stuff. It does dry matte, and it does dry a little dry. It is a little drying. Um, but the pigment is amazing. It's very long lasting. It doesn't transfer. Um, it's great. I haven't been reaching for it as much. I need to because that color, I mean, look, that was one swipe. Look at that. It's awesome. I just love it. Now this, I'm going to have to think about, but I will show you. It is the Sephora and I believe this is like the ultra gloss, ultra 
shiny lip gloss and this is in shade cappuccino it is by did i say ulta it's by sephora if i said ulta i don't remember um so this is really great a really great topper i love the doe foot applicator look at how great that is how it's bent um i really do like this it is really sheer so you I mean you can wear it alone but you can't really tell it's that one right there so i like it i haven't been reaching for it near as much so i don't know i'm gonna wait on that now, this is the Love and Beauty by Forever 21, which if you guys watch my channel and read my blog, you know I love the Love and Beauty by Forever 21 mascara. That stuff is to die for. But the Love and Beauty by Forever 21 sparkling lip gloss, the color looks fantastic in this. It's not. It's like, it's pretty much completely sheer, which I can use this. You know, if I want something sheer, I don't need multiple lip glosses that are sheer that aren't doing anything for me. So let me swatch that. I mean, you might not even be able to tell. It's right there. I mean, it almost looks the exact same as this one. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. I need to start throwing more away anyway. This, I like this brand, and I think they're really great for the lips, and I think this is great for younger girls, junior high um, even maybe sixth grade, but junior high for sure, early high school age, these Maybelline baby lips are awesome because it gives a little bit of color and a little bit of pigment, um, but it also is very soft on your lips. So I have it in the shade, I don't even know, 220K800, and it is this just nude. Um, I don't even think you can really see it. You can't really, it's that one right there. You can't really see it. Uh, but I really do like it, but, and you know what, I can't stand the scent. I hate the scent. It's not all that bad, but I don't use this anymore, so I'm definitely going to get rid of that. Now, these two things I like, and I'm very hesitant to get rid of, but these are the, and they're not that, I mean, they're not drying or anything. This is the Revlon Matte Balm, and these are the two that I've got. The two shades are... Sultry 225. And the other shade I have is Elusive 205. These both are matte. They are like crayons. Um, let me swatch them. So they are a good color. It's almost the exact same thing as this, I'm now realizing. Uh, but it is very soft on the lips. It doesn't dry them out. This one is a little dark for me. I don't know how I am with my dark lips. But I really enjoy this one in the fall. I like to wear it to football games. <sighs> I'm going to keep the darker one for sure because I don't have any that are this color that I can pull off. So I'm going to keep this one for sure. I'm going to think about this one just because it's so much like everything else that I have. So let me think about it with the Sephora lip gloss. Now this I do like. This is one of my favorite lip products I own. Um, it is Liquid Lips, and it is the CoverGirl. I believe it's the Color CoverGirl Color Stay Outlast, something like that. It is in shade 535. It's a great, great color. It's just a very nudie pink, like everything else I own. You put it on your lips, it dries, and then you put the balm on top. This stuff is awesome. It lasts all day long. It doesn't transfer at all. It does, after a couple hours, will start to chip. So be aware of that. But it's still really, really amazing. Definitely keeping it, for sure. Let's get into some lipsticks. I have the e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick in shade Pink Minx. Am I in X? Minx? Let me swatch it not a bad shade it just doesn't wow me and I have so many this color I don't really wear a lot of lipstick anymore anyway I like liquid lips I like the low maintenance I'm gonna get rid of it sorry elf so sorry now this I did just get and I haven't gotten to explore it enough yet so I'm definitely going to keep this. This is the NYX Butter Lipstick. So like the NYX Butter Gloss, they have NYX Butter Lipstick. I have worn it a couple times um, and I do really like it. It is very soft, very sheer, but it's not bad. It's very soft on the lips. Keeping it, I need to keep this in my top drawer so I remember to try it out more. So I'm going to keep it. And then the MAC. Everyone has to have at least one MAC lipstick, right? I mean, really. And I have mine in Coral Bliss, 
and that's the shade really really pretty and that's what it looks like really pretty shade um, keeping it because everyone has to have a MAC lipstick right this getting rid of not a fan of it I think they might have redone their formula since I bought this I bought this probably ooh, probably two years ago um, and this is just the elf I mean it doesn't have the name on it anymore but it's just a nude lip crown kind of doesn't do much for me let me see if I can swatch it for you it's right up here you can hardly tell not a big fan of it anymore gonna throw it away this I have two left one of them I think I'll keep one of them eh, I don't know uh, but this is the Sephora cream lip stain it is a darker pink honestly but I really like it I um, mean it does tend to dry pretty matte great pigment I mean really good pigment so I'm gonna keep it I think it's worth it and I don't think that color is too dark for me I actually think it's really nice so I'm keeping it whatever now this is what I don't know and I think this might actually be a dupe for the other one color wise this might be a little darker this is the Revlon ultra HD matte lip color now I like this do not get me wrong I really need the nude one and I haven't picked it up yet I really need the nude one but this is just so bold on my lips. It's like, bam, when you wear it. So I'm kind of like too timid to wear this. Love the applicator though. Look at that applicator. It's that bent. Love that applicator. I like it way more than the doe foot. So this, it is very creamy. It's just bold, you know, like really bold. You wear it and you're like, hello. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like I, I haven't grabbed for this in almost a year. I actually kind of like the scent, I'm not going to lie. It smells very sweet. But I just don't know. It's just so bold, you know what I mean? So I'm going to think about it. Let's go back to these. I'm going to keep this Sephora gloss. I actually am going to because now I don't have any just regular clear gloss I can throw on besides my um, NYX Butter Gloss. So I am going to keep this. I think this I can put on top of anything. So I'll keep that. So now it's between these two. I think what I'll do, I think I'm going to get rid of this because I have so many of this color. I don't really need it. So I'm going to trash the Revlon. <sighs> Is that Revlon? Yeah. Huh. I'm between two Revlon to keep or to trash. Trashing this one. And I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one too because... It is just very bold and out there and just, I'm not that outgoing when it comes to lips. I'm not that fashion forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one too. So I got rid of a total of seven and I probably kept double that, which isn't good, but I'll get there one day. I'm a little pack rat when it comes to my lips. Um, so that is all for this video. Y'all let me know what you think, if you like any of them, what you think about them, if you like other shades of this br of these brands, let me know. I'm totally willing to try them because I love lip products. So yeah, let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up. Check out my blog for more information, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.